Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video let us see the determination of rigidity modulus of a given wire using torsion pendulum. The period of oscillation of torsion pendulum is obtained by using the formula T equals 2 pi times square root of I over C. Where I equals moment of inertia of the disc and C equals couple per unit twist. Here C can be written as C equals 1 over 2 times pi n r to the power 4. Divided by L. Where? L is length of the wire R is radius of the wire, and N is rigidity modulus of the wire. The rigidity modulus of the wire is calculated by using the expression N equals 8 pi I times L divided by R to the power 4 T square. Now let us define one oscillation. This is our reference point. If I click this black arrow, the oscillations will begin. First it will go right extreme and then left extreme then it will be on the reference point second time. This is called one oscillation. Here I have given the link for Amrita virtual lab for torsion pendulum. Let us go to the page and do our experiment. Here we are. Let us set the variables. Here I am going to select the material brass. Then, in identical mass position, I select no cylinder option. Disc mass 1.2 kg. Then disc radius 5.2 cm. Then length of the suspension wire as 50 cm. Last one is radius of the suspension wire that is 0.05 cm. Let us start doing. First length we have chosen is 50 cm. And I am going to start the oscillations. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 The observed time period is 29 seconds 031 milliseconds. Then start the second trial. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Here in the second trial, the time period noted is 29 seconds 295 milliseconds. Next change the length to 60 cm. Then start the oscillations. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 The observed time period is 31 seconds 595 milliseconds Next start the second trial 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
10. Thus in the second trial, the time period got is 31 seconds 702 milliseconds. Now I set the length to 70 centimeters and start the oscillations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. The observed time period is 33 seconds 737 milliseconds. Next start the second trial. 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thus, in the second trial, the time period got is thirty three seconds eight hundred thirty one milliseconds. Our new length is eighty centimeters, and I am going to start the oscillations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. The observed time period is thirty six seconds eight hundred fifty three milliseconds. Then start the second trial. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In second trial. The time period obtained is 36 seconds 926 milliseconds. Next, I changed the length from 80 centimeters to 90 centimeters and started the oscillation. 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. The observed time period in the first trial is 38 seconds 802 milliseconds. Then let us move on to the second trial. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. So, in second trial, the time period noted is 38 seconds 635 milliseconds. Now let me set the suspension wire length from 90 cm to 100 cm and begin the first trial by clicking the arrow. And start counting. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Note down the time period. It is forty seconds and eight hundred milliseconds. Then trial two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The time period we got in the second trial is forty seconds four hundred forty four milliseconds. Here we have all the readings in the table. Next calculation of moment of inertia of the disc. Substitute mass and radius values of the disc in the formula. I value is figured out as 0.00162 kg times meter square. Next step is finding time period of oscillation. Let us find the mean time period for trial 1 and trial 2. Basically, this is time period for 10 oscillations. Then I calculated time period for one oscillation that is t, then t square. Now let us move on to calculation of rigidity modulus. This is the formula for rigidity modulus. Substitute all known values. Here I have given the rigidity modulus value calculation for each length from 50 cm to 100 cm. And entered all n values in the table. Our next calculation is couple per unit twist. As per our calculation the rigidity modulus of the taken brass wire n is equal to 3.901 times 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square. I hope this video is more helpful to you all. Thanks for watching.